In this video, I'm going to show you how to write a program that will use variables to both end your program and control the motor speed using bump switches to add 10 to the speed and a limit switch to decrease the speed by 10. Uh, you can see I'm using a motor, a bumper, and a limit switch. If you don't know how to set those up, in a previous video, I uh, cover that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set my variables. The way I do that is I come to my make a variable here. I can type in anything I want. I've already preset mine. I preset it to speed and end. So I'm going to set my end to zero and I'm going to duplicate this. And I'm going to set my speed to zero as my program starts. I'm going to go to my control logic and I'm going to grab a repeat until command. I'm going to go to my math blocks, grab an equal sign. And what I want to do is I'm going to duplicate my end variable here. I'm going to set it to five so my program will end after five. I like throwing my variables up there because it allows me to grab them later on as needed for duplicating. Next thing I'm going to do is come back to my control logic. I'm going to grab an if statement. Uh, and I'm basically going to say if my bumper A is pressed, I want to have my speed coming back to variables, I want to change my speed by 10. So I have my speed, I'm going to change it by 10. Now it's important on these that you're going to use wait commands. So I'm going to use a wait command so that when that button is depressed, it's not repeating that uh, press over and over again. So I hold the button down and all of a sudden my program's done. I'm then going to come up and I'm going to set my speed To my speed again. Now I want to change my end also by one because I want that running count for this variable up here of five to be met. Now great thing about these new touch screens is I'm going to use my LED screen here to display my speed as well. So just as a little visual check that I have. I'm going to come to my motors. I'm going to set my motor uh, velocity to that same speed variable and I'm going to spin that motor forward. Now because I like to work smart I'm going to duplicate this whole set of logic here. I'm going to throw out the uh, bump switch. I'm going to come back to my sensors. I'm going to grab my limit switch. In this instance I'm going to change my speed by 10 uh, and attach that. So I'm going to run the, basically the same exact program, except I'm doing a negative speed here and setting that same thing. Now, if my condition has been met, meaning five presses that button, what I want to do, I want to stop my motor. So this internal loop will run five to, until this condition of five is met, and then it will go outside that loop, and the next command is to stop that motor. I'm going to come up to download my program. I'm going to click on run. And you're going to see this button press here starts it at 10, goes up to 20, 30, back down to 20. On my fifth press, it's going to change the speed, but because I don't have a wait time built in, it reached that command of five, so it's going to uh, stop the motor. If I wanted it to go five and, you know, another press of the button, we could do a greater than or less than symbol in that math. So I hope this helps using variables and writing.